Hey everybody, it's your girl Shy. I made a poll on Twitter asking you guys what video you guys would want to see for my first story time video. And you guys picked getting my wig snatched. Of course you did. It wasn't actually a wig, but it was a hair piece, okay? Okay. So in order for me to tell you guys a story time, I have to give you guys a little bit of background. This is a very long time ago. This happened to me in the seventh grade. And I graduated high school like three years ago. So this is very, very in the past. Ain't nobody thinking about this anymore. In the sixth grade, I was bullied. I was bullied a lot. And that can be a whole separate video in itself. Marilyn Monroe looks like she doesn't have a nose when I sit down. <laughs> yeah, I was bullied a lot in the sixth grade. And a lot of it came from this one girl. We're going to give her the name Bobby, okay? Her name is Bobby right now. So Bobby was very popular. She had all the friends. Everybody loved her. She was like the popular girl, right? Okay. I, in the beginning of sixth grade, I'm not going to try. I'm trying not to get too much into sixth grade because I, that's a lot of details that you don't need. But just know in the beginning of sixth grade, I was a cyber student, which meant I did my work online and then I would bring it in and give it to my teachers and they would grade it. And then I would go back home just because they did not have enough actual room in the classrooms. But they were going to let me do my work anyway because I was such a good student that they just kept me there. You know what I mean? I forgot to mention that I used to go to the school for drama club so I could rehearse for the play with everybody. So I already knew a lot of people in the school. At the end of the first quarter, somebody dropped out and I went to the school. And then all of a sudden, I became popular. But Bobby wasn't having that. So she stopped liking me very quickly. And then everybody else stopped liking me very quickly. So that's how that was, right? Okay. At the end of sixth grade year, me, Bobby, and two other girls, we were in show choir together. And at the end of the year, we were supposed to sing God Bless America in a harmonized version at a local baseball stadium. This was a big deal for me. I was very excited, even though all of the girls I was singing with didn't like me. I didn't really care. I was very excited for this. But Getting closer to the event, one by one, each girl couldn't do it anymore. When I came to the last rehearsal, I was the only one there. And my teacher was like, she can't do it, she can't do it, Bobby can't do it, so you're gonna do it by yourself. And I was like, I'm gonna do what? I'm gonna sing at a baseball stadium by myself. This was the first time that I had ever sang anywhere by myself, except for in church, but that's different. I do the baseball um, game. There's actually a YouTube video up of it. My mom put it up and it's so bad. But at the time it was so good for me. Like I sounded amazing for my voice back then. Like I, for my puny little untrained voice, still untrained, but not as puny, but for my puny untrained voice, it was good. Okay. I guess I'll leave the link down there for you guys. But yeah, after that baseball game, I was feeling myself. I was like, yes. All these girls didn't come do it. I did it by myself. Everybody was telling me I did a good job. So, hi. So, I got closer with her through doing that. And, yeah. So, come seventh grade, I walk into school on the first day. And all the girls that were bullying me before were like, let's start this year fresh. Let's rock. Because I walked in looking for a place to sit. And I was going to sit by myself because I was not about to sit with those girls. No. They were like, come sit with us. We're going to start this year fresh. And I'm like, yeah, sure we are. Long story short, we didn't start the year fresh. Things just pretty much went back to the way they were like that. Nobody was really talking to me, didn't have that many friends, except for the new people that came that year. There were a few new people and a few people who were just over the drama that I could talk to. I had this one really close friend. I don't know if she's gonna care that I use her name. Her name was Sierra. Me and Sierra, we were like this. We're getting closer to the actual juiciness, okay? I promise. In seventh grade, we did a musical called Doo-Wop Wed Riding Hood. Yes, it sounds as corny as the name. But it was called Doo-Wop Wed Riding Hood and it was actually a lot of fun to be in. And I got the lead in the musical. I got to play Red Riding Hood. And this caused all the commotion in the world. Bobby was not having it. She was pissed that I beat her up for leaving the musical. She had to be my fairy godmother, and I got the lead of the entire musical. So she was not having it. And my teacher, in fact, told me that the reason I got, well, one of the main reasons that I got the lead in the musical is because of how well I performed at this baseball game. 
she told me that she was so proud of the way I did at the baseball game and at my audition for the musical that she felt that I was ready to be the lead in the musical. And I was like, eh, I got it. But um, I made a point to every time I was near anybody, she would be talking to them about the fact that she didn't get the lead in the musical and that she believed that she deserved it better. Which obviously she didn't because she didn't get the part. So whatever. This was around the time where my hair was very short. My hair was maybe here, if even. I could barely get it in a ponytail. Like, it was, the struggle was real. Every day for school, I wouldn't want to pull it up in a stub ponytail or, I don't know, it was just, it was a lot of work. My mom didn't want to have to do too much work to my hair either because it was already kind of damaged. So we were just like, we're gonna go to the beauty supply store and get some nice ponytails for you to clip into your hair for school. And it would look cute and you would have fun and I you know I am obsessed with long hair I like short hair too but even back then especially back then I was obsessed with long flowing hair so when I got these ponytails I was like yes I'm feeling myself and one of these ponytails was very curly it looked like you know natural curly hair it looked like that but in a ponytail form Bobby did not like my ponytails when I got them when I came into school thinking I looked fresh she was like, you're trying to be me because her hair was very curly. And she was like, you're trying to be me. You want to look like me. You ain't cute. The ponytails aren't even real. And I'm like, why are you trying to put me down? I think I look cute. Ain't nobody want to look like you. So yeah, whatever. So here's the snatching part, y'all. I was hanging out with Sierra and a few other people at the tennis courts at my school. And the way my school was, was it was an outdoor campus. It looked like a mini college, but very, very mini. The buildings were in close proximity to each other, but they were, you had to walk outside to get to them. You know what I mean? We were hanging out during lunchtime and we were watching people play tennis and, you know, just goof around on the tennis courts. Cause that's normally in that corner of the school. Not many teachers were back there. Like sometimes they would send a teacher back there just to make sure that the students were acting a fool. But generally there were no real teachers back in that area. We're gonna name this guy Doodoo because his name starts with a D and he was a piece of crap. Okay, so Doodoo, I'm a child, I don't care, was playing on the courts as well with everybody else. And Doodoo was a big guy, he's huge. I don't know exactly like a lot of this part is blurry just because it happened all so fast. But all I remember was seeing Bobby and her friends hanging out in the corner and Bobby that day had brought a, you know the cameras that you had to take in to get the pictures back? She had one of those cameras. Dudu ends up behind me somehow, but I'm not paying him no mind until I feel pulled. And I feel my head do like this. And I'm like, and then I see my ponytail hanging off of my head. But it's not like all the way off. Cause like the way it is, it's a ponytail and a drawstring. So I'll put the ponytail, I'll clip the ponytail in, I'll pull the drawstring and then I'll wrap the drawstring around my head and then I'll pin it down, right? So it stays in my head and the drawstring isn't like flapping around. My ponytail is now hanging by a thread, pretty much. In that second that my ponytail is pulled, I see Bobby and her friends running towards the tennis courts with her camera in her hand. And I'm like, no, uh-uh, no. I am not having proof of this moment. I am not letting her get a picture of it because who knows what she's gonna do with that picture. No, uh-uh, no. In reality, I don't think it was as serious as it was, but to me, in 12th grade, my appearance was everything. I was already having trouble with it, kind of. That's a whole nother story as well. Yeah, I was like, no. Mm -mm, this is not happening. Sierra goes into best friend mode very quickly. And she's like, we have to get you out of here. We are going. So we ran to the back of the tennis courts. And in the back, there's another door. But the thing about this door is it's always chained shut. So you have to push it from the bottom and squeeze out of the bottom to get out, right? So Sierra's pushing the door open for me. And I squeeze out. And then she squeezes out behind me. And now we're running. And they catch wind to that and they don't even go into the tennis courts anymore. They like run around it. And the tennis courts is next to the science building. And so 
the best thing that I we thought to do was to run into the science building and then run into the bathroom. So we do that and we think we lost them. And so I run in there and I run into the handicap stall and I'm just, first of all, I kept I'm catching my breath because I just ran for my life. And then I'm like panicking because these girls are looking for me with the camera and they have no reason to be doing this because this is harassment. Sierra is standing outside of the bathroom stall. I'm in the bathroom stall and the door is between us and she's standing outside. And then all of a sudden I hear the door open to the science building girls bathroom and I hear a whole bunch of voices coming in and I'm like, they found me and now my picture is going to be taken and everybody's going to know that I just got my wig snatched. But Sierra is not having it. She's not letting them into the bathroom stall. They're like, come on, just let me see her. Come on, just let me in. And I'm like standing in the corner all the way in the back like. <sighs> and Sierra's like, no, you can't go in. Bobby is like, okay, I'll put my camera away. And I just want to go in and talk to her. Can I just go talk to her? She gives Sierra her camera. And then I open the bathroom door. And all the girls walk into the handicap stall. Just lovely. We're all standing in this stall together now. I can't really remember what they said. I can't really remember what happened after that too much. I just remember her saying something along the lines of, this is what you get when you try to be like me or something like that. Something very sarcastic and very bitchy. Okay, let's just keep it real. It was very bitchy. So after that whole ordeal, before class started, Sierra and my other friend tried to fix my hair up as much as possible for the rest of the day. Like the ponytail wasn't going back in. It just wasn't going back in. I just didn't want it back in. So we were trying to slick my hair down as much as possible just so I didn't look a total mess the whole day. So yeah, this is just a little taste of what's to come on this channel. I have so many more story time videos that I could tell you guys. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and comment any times that you've gotten your fake hair ripped off or comment any stories that you'd like me to tell or any types of things that you would like me to film and yeah subscribe for more videos like this one so you can see my face more and more and more and more and more and more and more and, more. and until next time it's your girl shy signing off Stop filming. It's still filming. Oh no. Oh no. It is still filming. I meant to turn it off. It is still filming. No, oh, no. I'm so hideous sometimes. Bye.